Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dee and I am a reseller on, no. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dee and I am a thrifter and a reseller. I sell on eBay and Mercari and I also sell on YouTube every Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock Eastern. So if you see anything in any of my thrift haul videos that you like, that would be the place to get them. Now, Welcome back to any of my current friends and welcome to anyone who is new. Uh, I do a little bit of everything on this channel. Thrift flips, shop alongs, cooking, baking. Uh, I do thrift flips every Thursday. Uh, so if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, then please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. So YouTube will let you know anytime I upload a new video or go live. You don't want to miss anything, trust me. There's always something exciting going on here. All right, today I have a thrift haul video for you, and it is from Goodwill and Salvation Army. I have quite a few things here, so I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to start over here with Salvation Army. I'm in the living room today because uh, it is shipping day tomorrow, so I have packages all over my kitchen table to go out. So we're in the living room today. And if you're wondering who that little cutie is right there up on the wall, that was me when I was just a little in. And over here, you can't see is my dad. But anywho, people ask, who is that little girl? Well, that was me at one time. <laughs> All right, so I have my receipt. I will tell you what I spent when I'm done showing you my treasures. I'm gonna start with this item right here in front of me. I got this beautiful sandwich glass uh, tidbit tray, two-tiered tray, just in the clear. And I don't know about y'all, but I love clear glass because it goes with everything. You can't beat clear glass. And it is in perfect condition with no chips, cracks, or flea bites on it. Very, very nice piece. I'll show you the pattern. Very, very pretty. So that is numero uno. Then I got this. Now, of course, if someone purchases this, I am not going to ship it in its original box. One, the shipping would be astronomical because USPS raised their prices yet again today, July 1st. Like packages arrived like they got run over by a dump truck and they're raising their prices. How dare they? That's my rant for today. Um, it's this set of four butterfly wall decor, brand new in the box. Uh, silver tone, kind of like a kind of like a brushed nickel look. And of course, if you don't like the color, that's why they make spray paint. Yes, just spray paint them the color that you like. You know, that's what I would do. So I got those. I love spray paint. Any kind of paint. It is amazing what a little bit of paint can do to change, you know, the look of an item. 
So I can't say enough about it. I also got this vintage frame and guys, this can either be hung up on the wall or it has the um, easel on the back. And you could tell it's old just by the, the material that's on the back there. Uh, it is a, a, a substantial frame. Um, so my thought was, was to maybe put something in here and sell it. Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but um, it is a dark, it's a dark wood. Uh, it isn't like cherry, uh, perhaps mahogany. There is that. So for those of you that know, um, I always buy uh, frames for crafting. And I just found another one. It was just the frame. That would be a good thumbnail. Wait. <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is a large frame. You could use it either way because it doesn't have a hanging system on it. So whichever way. Um, this would work wonderful uh, for the skeleton project that I have been working on that I saw on Pinterest. So uh, that's why I bought it because I may, I may do another one of those. I'm not sure yet, but I mean, you can't go wrong with uh, buying frames at the thrift store because they always come in handy for something. So there is that. Ooh, it's a beautiful day today in upstate New York. Alrighty. I bought this. So basically, it is a lantern. But the hanging uh, parts uh, are broken off of it. So I bought it because I will do something with this, <coughs> excuse me. And I also kind of liked all this greenery that was in here. I will be taking the greenery out and using it. So I will definitely be doing something. Uh, I'll probably put uh, maybe a, a scene in here of some sort, you know, a little assemblage or something like that. Um, I also bought this little plant, uh, to put in, in something that I, uh, you know, flip, uh, it's just like a boxwood little plant. So when I find these for a decent price, I pick them up. All right. Then I found this guys. If you don't know what this is. This goes on top of a Drippolator coffee pot. Uh, sometimes I will find the Drippolators without this piece, which is why I picked it up. Now, they had a Drippolator in the Salvation Army, but this was too big. It did not fit on top, and it was one of the, um, oh, dang it. They're, they're popular. They're very popular. Um, they usually have the, the little Dutch couple or whatever on the front. Uh, I forgot the maker, but it is a drip pot. And this was too big, so that's why I left. Well, and also it was missing its actual lid uh, for the pot, so I left it behind. Uh, I can't think of the dang name offhand, but anyway, I also got... This pretty little cranberry vase with the applied handle. It has a tiny, a tiny little um, flea bite right here. I don't know if you can see that. Doesn't want to focus for me, but anyways. But, uh, and it is hand blown. There's the pontal mark. 
So I picked up that. Uh, I picked up this pack of napkins for decoupage. Uh, I thought this was a really pretty pattern with that nice, uh, like a dark kind of a navy blue or a denim blue background. So, yeah. So those are going to be for decoupaging. I got these for anybody that does a little, uh, a lot of people do a little Christmas tree, but they use it for um, different holidays. Uh, these are patriotic little heart ornaments, which I thought were adorable. So I grabbed those. And then I got this pretty little angel tea light candle holder. She's pretty. Um, I got this. I need to clean it up. I'm going to clean it up, um, sand it, and then I'm going to put some clear wax on it, and it'll be beautiful. Nice wood mug rack. Really, really nice. So I got that. Speaking of patriotic, I picked up these two patriotic uh, placemats. There's this one, which originally came from Kohl's, and this one. This one also came from Kohl's. So I thought these would be really cute in a vignette or something if you decorate for the patriotic holidays. Uh, yeah, put these over here. Okay. Um, I did get three pictures. This one I got. Now, I'm not a big fan of the frame, but I thought it was a very pretty picture of a ship. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. Um, so I did pick it up, and I was thinking of maybe, you know, painting the frame. But I don't know. We'll see. But I thought it was a really nice picture. And then I got these two. Now, I don't like the pictures that are in these. So I was thinking of printing new pictures to put in these frames. They're botanical, you know, botanical pictures. But I know that they make much prettier botanicals than these. Uh, and the frames are uh, gold leaf as well. So they're very nice frames. Very, very nice frames. Um, I just, I, I'm just not a big fan of the, the, the florals or whatever you want to call them that they put in there. I just think they're ugly, you know? So we're going to, we're going to change those out. Okay. So <laughs> I've just been on a patriotic kick and I, and I do like to put little small lots of those items together. And I did get this book. Um, <laughs> The Daily Show with Jon Stewart presents America the Book. I'm sure that this is going to be a good book. <laughs> so, we'll see. It has all kinds of information in here and... <laughs> So, that's why I picked it up. Um, I also got three outdoor decorative flags, the like 28 by 40 size, and all three of them are for Christmas. So, we have this one. So, there's, wait, let me do it like this, there. 
Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. Do I have it backwards? No, it's the same on both sides. Sides. I got that one. Ow, dang it. Then I got this one. This is a Christmas tree. And it has packages underneath. And these are like brand new, guys. Really. I mean, I, I really think they're brand new. And then there's this one with Santa in his sleigh. These are really, really nice. So I picked those up. And then the last couple items are just uh, three clothing items that I picked up for myself. This one's my favorite one. My favorite people call me grandma. <laughs> so I got that one for me. Then I just got this plain um, gray one that says beautiful. Just comfy shirts, you know? And then just a plain um, black one. So that's it. That was it for Salvation Army. And I spent $59.46. That is pretty damn good. Yes, indeed. $59.46. So there you have that. Go ahead. Have a sip of whatever you're sipping on. Alrighty, moving on to Goodwill. Now, I'm going to get this out of my way because I keep knocking it over. I got this awesome bird cage, but it doesn't want to stay latched for some reason. And I think I just have to go on the inside and maybe pound it out a little bit. But it's black. And my thought was to do like something Halloween inside of here. Wouldn't that be awesome? Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I should leave it like it is? Or do you think I should do like a Halloween themed assemblage inside of here? I'd be interested to see what y'all think. So I picked up that and I picked up these two light up ghosts they're both exactly the same but they no longer light up um i took you know opened them up i put new batteries and they don't work the lights are probably burned out um so my thought was to just stick um fairy lights up inside of there um you know you can just take off that bottom piece and put your fairy lights up there and they're like that melted popcorn kind of stuff. So I picked those up. And unfortunately, I couldn't test them out in the store because they had, uh, I, I needed a screwdriver to open in the battery compartment. And uh, I don't usually carry around a screwdriver, you know? I carried the batteries. Now I gotta start carrying around a screwdriver. <laughs> so that's why I didn't test them out. Um, oh my God, I got the find of the century today. I had to go to uh, the doctors. So I figured while I was out, I would stop at uh, Salvation Army. I, I the one here and I stopped at the one in um, North Tonawanda. And then I stopped at the Goodwill because I had to waste some time um, to get my blood work done. So I went in there, and that's where I found an amazing item. 
which you'll see when I show it in my upcoming, my next thrift haul. So, anywho, um, I got these. I think, look at how cute these are, you guys. Look at... <laughs> how cute are these little shelf sitters? Oh my goodness. How you doing? <laughs> they are stinking adorable. Oh my goodness. I had to grab them. Had to grab them. So cute. I don't know where to put stuff. Okay. Then I got, uh, they had a, uh, a Ziploc bag of these, um, golden books so we have the fire engine one and this one's newer this one is 1987 then we have this one is a little bit um messed up on the on the cover this one is 1977 shazam then we have Toodle. I've had this book several times. This one, and this one is in amazing condition, and it is from 1945. 1945, you guys. There's no other, co uh, no other copyright dates in there. And this book is, it's in mint condition. Honest to gosh. I swear, it was like it was never read. It's got a little bit of um, very little wear, like on the edge. But, holy cow, 1945. Then we got this one called Machines. And this one is from 1961. The first page does have a rip. but there's no coloring in it or anything. It's in great shape. Then we got Chicken Little. And this one is from 2005. And we got Noah's Ark. And this one is from uh, 2003. So I grabbed those. I got this beautiful, this is a brand new wallet, y'all. Look at that. It's got a little wristlet thing here. Got a zipper pocket in the front. And then, look, the inside, it still has the piece of foam in there. Brand new. What a, and it's really soft. What a nice wallet. I have no idea who makes it, but very nice, very nice uh, wallet. Got another patriotic item. This is like a, some kind of composite, but it hangs by a sawtooth hanger on the back. Um, this is awesome, you guys. This is metal. How cool is this guy? Oh, my God. I would put some lights inside of this boy and put him out on the porch. He's fabulous, and he's big. He's as big as my head. Look at that face. Oh, my gosh. This is fantastic. I love this. Love it. Um, you know me with the vintage Tupperware. I found another lime green jello mold. It's in amazing condition, guys. I always will pick these up as long as they're in good condition. Um, I will pick them up. So 
there is that guy. So there was a new person at my sale this past Saturday that was asking about tea sets. And I did pick this up. This is brand new in the box. And it comes with the saucer, your teapot, and your cup. What a cute set is this. Beautiful shade of blue, white, and gold. Look how pretty that is. And then here is the saucer for the teacup. Let me show you. There's the teapot. And you just pour your tea. And there is your cup and your saucer. What a cute set. Brand new, in the box, never used. That would make a wonderful gift for anybody who has, you know, a friend that loves tea. I mean, what a great, great gift for someone. So I picked that up. Brand spanking new, heck yeah. Ah, uh, the wallet. This I bought to flip. I'm going to do a thrift flip on this. It's this little, um, I don't know, catch-all. It's got drawers. Uh, this drawer is missing a knob. The two drawers are missing a knob, but I can put knobs on there. I'm not worried about that. But this is going to get a whole new paint job. Somebody had it at their yard sale for $250. And it ended up at the Goodwill. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a, a flip on this one. And I may actually, I may use the napkins that I thrifted. And decoupage them on the drawers. Oh, oh, oh the ideas are turning. Yes, they are. All righty. <laughs> So there's that item. This I absolutely love. And this reminds me of a 1960s black cat. Look at this. It is a little kitty dish for Halloween. Now, you could either feed your cat out of this or you could put some candy corns in there and put it on your table. And it's made by Hallmark. I said, oh my goodness, that is so stinking cute. Oh, how could I not get it? Love that piece. Then I got, I found another primitive, yes, Red Bull. Blue inside with the, the gold stars. Love it. You know I'm going to fill it with some goodies and sell it as a lot. Yes, indeed. So we picked that up. Then I got these two sets of, of uh, little cutting boards. And these I'm definitely going to do a flip on because they're going to be, uh, they're too small to really use. I mean, you could use them, but to me, they're more for decor. So that's what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to decorate them up. So there we got those. Um... I got this beautiful, this is a um, a pillow cover for, I don't know, is this Christmas? I, no, it's not really Christmas. Let me show you. It's for a, an 18 by 18 inch pillow. Isn't that pretty? got a zipper closure on it. I mean, how pretty is that? 
I wish I had an 18 by 18 pillow, but I don't. Well, I do, but they're on my bed. <laughs> so I picked up that brand new. Wait till you see. I'm going to, you know what? This is, oh my word. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look at that. This is car like card sable, oh, card sable, card sable, card sable ties, <laughs> card table size, and it is absolutely beautiful. OMG. This is a very, very pretty piece. Oh my goodness. And then I found this beautiful handmade blanket. Could be for a baby. Look at, look at how pretty this is, you guys. It's, I think it's the shell pattern. And it's, so it's like a, it's not a white, white. It's almost like an antique white. Um, and then it's got the beautiful blue, yellow, lavender, mint green, and pink. And it is in perfect condition. It is beautiful. Show it up close. Absolutely gorgeous blanket. And the the yarn they used is kind of like that pearly, pearly kind of yarn. Oh, I had to, I couldn't pass this up. It's just gorgeous. I know somebody could use it for a gift or something, you know, because it is just beautiful. Okay. Just got a few more things, guys. Time for another sip. Okay, this is a party light item, and my girl Debbie had it. She was going to buy it, and then she changed her mind, and I, I think I've sold one of these before. It's like that beautiful stained glass leaded look, and then it has all these pretty, like, uh, stones, and it's just to, you know, for a candle, and I just thought it was beautiful. So when she said she wasn't going to get it, I said, well, I'll, I'll take it from you. It's gorgeous, I think. So I got that. I found this pretty paperweight with the, looks like a red crocus flower. That's what it reminds me of. It's got a partial sticker on the bottom, but very, very pretty. I got this gorgeous hand-painted plate. Look at this plate. Isn't that gorgeous? You got a cardinal on there. Um, the initials are MJS on the back. And it, it's, it's beautiful. It's got this pretty pale blue background. Beautiful plate. And it's got the little holes, if you want to hang it up on the wall, the little holes on the back to string some wire through. So that. Then I found this. Beautiful pink depression. I'm going to uh, call it a fruit bowl. It's gorgeous. I just got to wash it. It's got that pretty etched pattern. Then I 
Then I got this. Look at this. Purple. Look at this gorgeous art glass vase. How pretty is this? Oh my goodness. That is a beauty and I love the color. Look at that gorgeous purple. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And then Debbie found this for me. She goes, what about this? And I said, oh, yes, I will take that. Look at that, Moriage paint, painting on there. There's the lid. Little apothecary jar. How pretty is that? That is beautiful. I love that. Then I found this. This is beautiful. Look at this, you guys. Look at this beautiful shallow bowl. I checked every one of these sawtooth edges, and there's not a chip or a flea bite anywhere. There's the other side. It's just a shallow shallow bowl. This would make a beautiful bird bath, you guys. If you had a little pedestal that you could set it on. Can you imagine what that would look like out in the sun? <gasps> oh my word. Oh, perfect for a bird bath. Oh my goodness. Okay, now the last thing I found this is amazing. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the attachment for it, but that's okay. Look at this mid-century modern spaghetti. Look at this chip bowl, and there's two dip bowls. Now, normally, it would have had a metal piece that attaches onto your large bowl that this would sit in. Um, but usually, when you do find the chip and dip bowls, they are missing that bracket. Um, but it comes with two of the dip bowls. So you just set it on the table and set the two dip bowls, on one on each side. You know what I mean? I was not going to leave this behind just because it's missing the bracket. And you would pay more to buy a bracket for the dang thing than you would pay for the chip and the dip set, you know? So, I was not leaving that behind. This is a beautiful set. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's in perfect condition, too. So, that was a plus. So, that is everything, guys, from Goodwill. And I spent $95. And I saved $29.25. So, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I got some really, really nice pieces. So, I didn't think that was bad at all. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um... Don't forget to uh, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please consider becoming a subscriber to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to share my video out uh, to people that you know that enjoy, uh, you know, thrift flips and thrift hauls and shop alongs and those type of things. And leave me a comment. Let me know. What would you have bought? Would you have bought the same things I did? Uh, was there something I bought that you would have left behind? Uh, what was your favorite item? So leave me some comments, guys. I, I do read them. Sometimes I get a little bit behind, but I do read them and I appreciate them. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching today. 
I hope you have a great day and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.